LNG is virtually the same material you use at home with one important difference. It's a cold liquid. Very cold. 260 degrees Fahrenheit below zero to be exact. As we see with this balloon filled with natural gas, when chilled the gas actually condenses down into a liquid. The advantage is that it takes up less space. In fact, 620 cubic feet of regular natural gas when cooled results in no more than one cubic foot of LNG. Cold LNG vapor is heavier than air, but as it warms, it becomes lighter than air and it rises. Since 1964, LNG has maintained the best safety record of any fossil fuel. Like its household cousin, LNG vapor is colorless, non-toxic, and the vapors are safe to breathe. It's also environmentally friendly. In the event of a spill, it evaporates quickly and leaves behind no residue and does not react chemically with the air. If spilled on water, it is not absorbed in the water and will not harm sea life or affect water quality. Unless trapped within a confined space, the burning won't create an overpressure, for example, an explosion, and an LNG terminal will not create a confined space. Another safety feature is that LNG does not itself burn. The vapors will burn only when mixed with air and then only with a lazy flame. A lazy flame means that LNG will burn more like a candle, not a blaze. It is different from other gas fuels such as propane and gasoline, which are highly flammable. As LNG further mixes with air, the mixture becomes too lean to burn. This is called the lower flammable limit. Now, it's important to understand natural gas will burn. That's why it's an efficient and versatile fuel. However, for LNG to burn, it must be in a gaseous state in combination with air or oxygen. But within its storage tanks, LNG is always maintained in a liquid form with vapor, but no air above the liquid. The tanks are also well insulated and vapor tight, which means not only can oxygen not seep in, likewise LNG cannot seep out.